The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from California is recognized. Thank you. The gentleman from California, Mr. Hunter, has been an extraordinary leader on trying to address a critical need that the United States has. The Arctic Ocean is opening. There's not only a Northwest Passage, there's a Northeast Passage, and this year, just a couple of weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, a cruise ship passed through the Northwest Passage without the aid of an icebreaker. We absolutely have to have a polar icebreaker. As the chairman said, we have one icebreaker today, and it is going to go in for overhaul. When it does, we have no heavy icebreaker, either for the North Pole or the South Pole. We're in trouble. We have to have this. The U.S. Navy has to have it. U.S. Security has to have it. And certainly for the commerce in the Arctic, we have to have it. It's a reality. The Arctic Ocean is opening. Commerce will take place. And it will also need military availability in that area. The legislation that is before us today does not have the proper language in it because of CBO sitting on their duff, sitting over there and doodling numbers when we know we need this language. The Senate appropriations bills has a billion dollars for icebreakers, but there is no authorization. Without the language in the bill, unfortunately having to strip it out because of our rules here, we had to strip the language out. Now later, we hope to put the language back in, but it is not available today. We have to have this. We go back meeting after meeting, hearing after hearing, year after year, four or five years that we've been working on this, and then at the very last moment, CBO can't get its act together. Well, I'm sorry, CBO. We ought to waive the rules and get on with what we need to do here, which is to provide the authorization. And the language that the uh, chairman has worked out with me and with others would not only provide the authorization, but would do it in such a way as to give us the very best possible financial deal on the construction of icebreakers. That is a block buy. And also authorizing, should the money be available in the future, authorizing an additional three uh, three lighter uh, icebreakers beyond the three heavy icebreakers. Not to say we're going to build it all at once, but the authorization is in the law. That then allows the Coast Guard to properly line it up for the very best deal that we can get, maybe one at a time, maybe two or three over a five or ten year period of time. Unfortunately, that language had to be stripped out. And so when the chairman started his explanation of this bill, he did so to call all of our attention to what is not in the bill that should have been in the bill, but for CBO and the rules that we have that require us to have CBO's accounting before we move an authorization. That's where we are today. Unfortunately, it's where we are. So we're going to move this bill along. We'll probably hopefully come back before this session is over in the lame duck and write this thing properly. Unfortunately, today we're not there. There's more to be said about the rest of the bill, but at this time I yield back to the chairman and thank him for his good work. The gentleman from California reserves.